Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to talk about Microsoft Office, the real big Microsoft Office sooth including um, you know the very popular Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel and so on. Uh, one of the first misconceptions of Windows is that when you have a new PC or when you install Windows Microsoft Office is in Windows and that's not at all the case. Microsoft Office is something else. It does not come with any install of Windows and um, if it does it's because you paid for it at some point while you purchased your computer uh, and so on. Now there are two ways to get Microsoft Office and a lot of people are kind of lost as to what the difference is there's the standalone non-subscription Office or Microsoft Office 2013, which is the good old Microsoft Office like you used to know. Um, it comes in a little box. You got the key. You go on the uh, internet on the office.com website and download the Office and um, you know enter that key, and you have the full Office. For as long as you want, there's no limit in time, uh, but there's a limit on what you'll get with it, and it depends on what you buy. So there's the non-subscription Office Home and Student, which is the basics. Office Home and Student will give you for 139 bucks Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. For most people, this is enough, and for $139, you basically get your basic office. I think that for someone that has only one PC and uh, doesn't want to pay more than that, $139, you've got everything you need. Now, if you need more, for example, Outlook or Access, stuff like that, uh, you'll have to, you know, shed more money. At 249, you will get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and this one will also have interconnectivity with other computers. And of course, if you need everything, access, and all of that, what you actually need is the professional package and this is like a $500 thing which is quite expensive. If you want to have every software in Office and you want to have the um, possibility to install it up to five different devices the best, and that's what I use, is Office 365 subscription. Subscription on Office 365 is nice because you have a fee of either $10 a month, or if you want to save some money a little bit, $99 a year. And that will give you the possibility to install everything. That includes Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Outlook, Publisher, Access, you have access to the OneDrive um, online cloud backup and uh, of course Skype and it lets you install on five PCs Macs, Windows, iPads you choose what combination you want it gives you a f one terabyte one terabyte for each of five users so that's a total of five terabytes if you want to save stuff uh, 60 minutes of Skype calls a month and outgoing access to updates their ongoing access to updates which means that your office is always updated so if you have more than one computer and you need the full uh, you know you need pub publisher or access stuff that doesn't come with the regular office, then I think the subscription is the best thing for you. 
So um, that's pretty much. If you are a home user and don't want to pay too much and have only one computer, you could pay $69 a year to get the full access to the uh, office. That's also, I think, a bargain if uh, you are a, a student or if you are someone studying and that needs to have the full Microsoft Office because you know you'll need publisher and access then the subscription is probably the best thing to do because the subscription will get you a uh, you know every every single software in the Microsoft Office and for 69 you get one PC so if you only have one computer why not it's okay at 99 bucks a year you get five users um, you know one thing I can think of is uh, why not uh, pay $99 for a full year and you don't have to renew you can go into your account and you know not renew and you get it for a full year and you know what if you have friends that need office why not share the price up to five people that's gonna be like 20 bucks each for $20 each you'll have the full access to office it's not expensive and uh, you know just split the price that's pretty cool there's really really a way of uh, an inexpensive way to get the office 365 and you know what if you want to actually um, renew that subscription next year then it's up to you so uh, depending on what you do uh, the best is if you have only one computer at home and you have only use Word and Excel for example then the non-subscription uh, home and student is the best option 139 and you get a software that will work forever and um, you'll have the latest office but that only gets you to um, you know Word, Excel and PowerPoint which is pretty much the basics that I would say 90% of the people need um, and if you have more than one computer then the subscription becomes interesting uh, if you are a little family you need to install office on I don't know three computers four computers uh, then why not go to the subscription side and uh, get office 365 for uh, a year at 99 bucks it's less expensive than 139 per machine because if you buy the 139 office remember that's for every machine you have to pay 139 for every computer or uh, 249 you get the uh, I think it's three computers uh, well this costs less and um, you actually have up to five machines and it depends you know it can be a Mac a PC and a tablet so uh, iPad for example so these are cool and uh, even if you have only one computer the uh, interesting subscription here is also very interesting not too expensive and you get the full software here and uh, the good thing is you get one terabyte when you subscribe you get one terabyte of OneDrive which does not come with um, you know the non-subscription thing if you have a non-subscription you get the regular OneDrive which is I believe something like 10 gigabyte which is not bad and if you just don't use that much space and just do some Word documents 10, 10 gigabytes is kind of pretty and pretty big and enough for a lot of people but uh, the subscription boosts that up to one terabyte so you can really save online pretty much all the things that you want and uh, it's a pretty good deal so whatever you make of a choice that's how it works if you have questions on um, you know each office subscription or non-subscription you can ask away uh, one question that I did have that I'll answer right now from a friend he says okay but what if there's no internet well office 365 is a subscription but you download the full Microsoft Office onto your computer so even if you don't have <coughs> sorry even if you don't have the uh, internet at some point it doesn't prevent all of your software from working 
so um, you know the internet is required to download it and install it but it's not required to use it so um, that is something that is interesting also because they could have you know linked it to the fact that if your computer is not plugged into the web uh, the software doesn't work and that's not the way it works um, it actually works once it's installed activated it works well for uh, you know it will be activated basically for a year um, if you pay for a full year subscription for example so I uh, hope that uh, it helps in making a decision if you need the Office 365 or just need the plain basic Office Home and Student. And you know what, if you only do a casual text here and there, open a casual Excel file here and there, why not get OpenOffice, um, which is a free uh, office suit that is compatible with Microsoft Office and it costs zero if you don't know how to get it just check on the channel I have a, a video on how to get free office which is open office 4 now we are at 4 version 4 and uh, you'll get a free office don't have to pay a cent and um, if you you know don't use the uh, or, or don't share too many documents with others um, it actually can probably do the uh, the, the job of uh, a nice good word processor spreadsheet and so on and it will play your powerpoints so um, if it's just for that um, I don't think paying for Microsoft Office is something that you need uh, you can get the free open office and it's gonna do the job and it's gonna work very well if you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen here, maybe you have some questions on Office 365 or Microsoft Office 2013, why not check it out? And hopefully, you will get back to the of, uh, official Windows 8 channel to check other videos. Maybe you have that new machine, you're a little lost, or maybe you're planning to get Windows 8, want to know what it looks like and how it works. Well, check it out and hopefully you'll enjoy our videos and they will help you use Microsoft Office or <laughs> Windows 8.1. Sorry. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.